Okay. After the two dependent tasks, which are uh, market data and fundamental data are done, we will then move to the third step, which is bundling all this data into a format that our favorite backtesting engine, Zipline Reloaded, can use. Zipline Reloaded is a event-based backtesting engine, and it's really, really good for portfolio-based strategies. This is just the one strategy that um, I'm demonstrating here in this uh, in this introduction. Um, but this process typically takes you know a couple hundred lines of code, and the bundling process is a huge pain in the butt. Often fails, takes many, many, like probably about an hour to do. Uh, QS Connect, a couple lines of code, it takes about five minutes. So first we connect, we connect to the database. So we, we establish uh, a connection to the DuckDB database, which is running our, on our local computer. One line of code, it writes all of that data into these special bundle files that uh, Zipline Reloaded can use. We then register the bundle, we ingest the data, and we're done. Uh, a pretty incredible process how, how quickly this takes just a few minutes. Um, if, if you've taken a course of mine, you know, I've taught over 2,000 people at this point. If you've taken a course of mine, uh, you've heard me speak a lot about Zipline Reloaded. Uh, it's a very robust, very high quality uh, event-based backtesting framework. And it's really quite easy to use, but it's quite difficult to get set up. And by setting up, I mean getting all this data staged, ready to go. And, and kind of built in these high performance uh, bundles. So Matt went out and he rebuilt the entire process with Polars and DuckDB, and now this process just takes a few minutes. So we've saved you a whole bunch of time and got you your you know, 900 million rows of equity data uh, ingested into these bundles that are ready to go for your backtest. Next, we're gonna talk about how we actually run the backtest. And in this case, I'm gonna actually introduce you to QS Research, which is one of my favorite new libraries that we've come up with. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video.